okay guys so let me start connecting this motherboard in the cpu case so this is the one you can see we need to connect this first over here in the cpu me keep this motherboard properly here in the cpu okay now we need to let me adjust it okay so after that you need to adjust it here for this usb port and then this is speaker audio buttons and then with the cable and this now this is perfectly adjusted properly here awesome. okay now after this you can say motherboard is here now we need to connect few pins over here in the motherboard okay so let me connect it one by one there are few connection we need to do to keep this in the correct position now this is front panel connection these are the pins from the front panel that is from start button restart button and from the front of the cpu this side look at it these are the cables from this side of the computer system front panel okay let me show you first of all two pins how to connect first one is you can see here usb pin now let me connect this usb it will be written in the motherboard look at the usb 2 usb 1 is written here anywhere you can connect so let's see the pins so one empty pin is here so i will connect in this way look this is the way to connect this usb pin it is very much simple by looking at it and by reading you can connect next one is this is audio pin over here you can see audio pin in the motherboard also you can read that aud1 over here so aud1 for audio pin so we need to connect in such a way it will fit so this one pin is empty this side okay let me connect it so to connect that this is the way this is the way okay so audio pin is also connected okay so these are the remaining x panel front panel pin this is little bit tricky to connect this so but you can understand it very clearly just watch step by step process i will show you each and everything so so you can see in the motherboard you can see jfp1 and then jfp2 these are the front panel pins so we need to connect the pins over here to start the computer restart the computer led and then power led so first of all you can see this is one empty pin available here and then one single pin we don't need to use this this is reserved one just after the empty one we have two pins over here look at this so we need to connect here power sw switch this one power sw pin this is one so connect this we have this two one white color one orange color so every time the white color is negative and another color is positive so we need to connect first negative and then positive so let me show you by connecting this over here just after one empty pin you can see i have connected power sw the white one is this side negative first and then positive now next pin is reset this pin is used to restart the computer system so again we have connected here power sw and one single pin is here just parallelly to power sw we need to connect reset pin for reset pin we need to connect in such a way this is first positive and the negative let me connect it over here look this white color is this side and another color is this side this means this is positive and this is negative parallelly to power sw this is connected so this is now power led negative positive we need to connect this again in the same way negative and then positive just after power sw so let me connect this negative one first and then positive one negative positive 
the negative positive just after power sw this is power sw and this is power led now the last one is sdd led so we need to connect here again negative positive so white color is negative and another color is positive so you can see this sdd led negative and positive so successfully front panel is also connected it look like after connection inside the cpu case we have connected each and everything successfully now we need to start the computer now to start the computer system i will press this power button from here after this pen is working fine look at the display monitor so the starting window we have completed assembling computer system inside the cpu case also this is working perfectly fine with no problem and if you are getting some type of error like no display and then other problems i will explain that also thank you for watching this video hit the like button just comment below if you have confusion if you have understood everything and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you'll get the notification for new videos and in the new videos there will be new interesting thing i will show you have a great day